Want to improve your gut microbiome? Then stay tuned because in this video, I'm gonna give you specific strategies on how to do it fast and naturally. and click on the bell so you get notified every time I publish a new episode to help you with specific strategies for your well-being. On the last episode, I shared with you what is a healthy microbiome and why is it important. If you didn't catch the episode, you will be able to get the link on the description below or actually watch it at the end of this video. So there are many things that influence your gut microbiome and it is important to understand what are these things so you can have the specific strategies to make it work better and healthier and in balance for you. We start with food. Food are one of the key things that impact your gut microbiome. So we can use food to improve our gut health. A perfect example is for people who tend to eat a lot of refined sugar or added sugars, this could be a negative consequence because you may be feeding the bad microorganisms that live inside your gut. For example, you may have candida and candida loves sugar. So if you feed the candida a lot of sugar, this can cause a lot of different issues. It can create some ruptures in your gastrointestinal walls. It can cause a lot of different imbalances in your immune system and your immune response and can cause different inflammations for your body. So you want to be mindful of feeding the good gut bacteria with foods that are nurturing for it. For example, kale, collard greens, things like chard, spinach, green vegetables are amazing. The good bacteria really loves to feed on that. There's also important to add a variety of colors. That's where the Eat the Rainbow came from because your gut is made of trillions, over a hundred thousand trillions of microorganisms that are living all over your body. So you want to feed them with the right stuff. So eating things like that are purple or orange, for example, carrots or uh, drinking orange juice that, are, that is homemade, or you can do things like grapes or blueberries if you want purple. There is a variety of colors that we can consume. So now I want to ask you, what is your favorite fruit color? You can find mine in the comments below. We move on to the second thing that impacts your microbiome, and this is stress. A lot of people don't believe that stress is that impactful into our bodies, but I'll explain it to you this way. Our gut and microorganisms are constantly communicating with our brains and our brain is constantly communicating with our gut. This is a two-way communication. What happens when we're stressed? We release stress hormones. We are telling our bodies that we are on fight or flight. Pretty much we go into the sympathetic nervous system and activate it. This means it's shutting down all the other resources to keep us healthy and balanced because it's trying to just keep us alive. So it's going to tell our bodies that we, this is not a time for us to be eating food. This comes from our primitive brain when our ancestors were running away from wild animals. That was not the time to be eating. So right now our body is having the same reaction. It's communicating the same way. This is telling your gut and your microorganisms don't process food because right now we shouldn't be eating. But because we lived on a stress state, we are feeding the body on our regular times without noticing. And this is why sometimes we feel bloated, we, we have allergies to different foods. It's the way that our organism is set up to work. So we want to try to bring the parasympathetic nervous system to be active. What are the strategies for that? Breath work is an amazing tool, meditation, exercises like yoga, and like a walk in the park, things that are simple that you can incorporate more into your life that just bring the stress level down. 
If you're interested in breath work, I highly recommend you try the Wim Hof method. This method has been scientifically proven to help boost your, your immune system. So it's gonna improve your gut microbiome by doing this method of Wim Hof. I also have a video on my experience on the Wim Hof Fundamentals workshop, which you can catch in the description, or you can watch at the end of this video as well. Last but not least, medication can have an impact on your gut microbiome. And this is why sometimes doctors will recommend you if you take a dosage of antibiotics to also take probiotics. The probiotics are gonna re replace your uh, gut bacteria with some good bacteria that is gonna help you come back into health and help promote that balance in your body. I'm gonna talk more about probiotics and antibiotics on the next episode. So now that you've learned how to improve your gut health and your gut microbiome, let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. Also, make sure to subscribe to the channel, share this information with your loved ones, and give a like to this video. I would love for you to continue to improve your health, and I hope that this message is useful for you. Thank you for watching. I'm Lennis, and I'm here to help you engineer wellness from within. Have a great day. Bye.